cult leader Charles Manson has died aged 83. The news was confirmed by Deborah Tate, the sister of one of his victims, who told TMZ she received a call to say he had died at 8.13 p.m. Earlier this week it was reported he was on his deathbed in hospital and sources claimed it's just a matter of time. Manson was rushed to a Bakersfield hospital last week for emergency medical treatment. Sources told TMZ he looked ashen, was covered in blankets and was not expected to last much longer. It's not going to get any better for him, they told the news outlet. It's just a matter of time. Manson's health had been steadily declining for months. In January, he was rushed to Mercy Hospital in Bakersfield for severe intestinal bleeding and a sigmoid lesion. Sources told TMZ that doctors wanted to operate immediately but Manson had refused. Manson was rushed to a Bakersfield hospital last week for emergency medical treatment, picturing in his younger days, arriving for court in 1971. By the time he changed his mind and was ready for the operation, doctors determined he was too weak for surgery, and he was sent back to jail. A source at the time said, he's not good. His health is failing. The 83-year-old had been behind bars for more than four decades, since 1969, after he ordered members of his cult, which he dubbed the family, to go on a murderous two-day rampage. Three of followers, Susan Atkins, Patricia Krenwinkel and Leslie Van Houten killed seven people, pregnant actress Sharon Date, Abigail Folger, Wojciech Frykowski, Leno, and Rosemary LaBianca, Stephen Parent and Jay Sebring. He had ordered his family members to slaughter Date, who was eight and a half months pregnant, and three of her friends at her home above Beverly Hills. Stephen Parrott was a fifth unfortunate victim that night. He had driven to the 